What's going on, everybody? Trillo Nation. Hope everyone's having a great day. Going over the guillotine series from the front lock. Over the arm and under the arms. Outside arm, meaning the outside arm that goes over the arm, is always grabbing the wrist of the arm that's circling his neck. Okay. On that one, I sat back and I tossed my leg over for a simple guillotine finish. If I were to go in the front, notice the connection, and I bring my elbow over the far shoulder. On this next one here, he has a tight base. I'm going to switch my stance to the side. And notice on this one, I'm going for the Japanese necktie. So I'm going to, I'm going to slide my arms through. I never release my hands. Just slide it through. Look at how I change the angle of my grip so I can place the flat part of my arm against his neck and I place him sideways. Now from there, I'm going to drop my left shoulder sink the arm through for a nice little tap here I'm just going to squeeze the neck and push him forward remake the connection and now i'm going to fall to my right side as i shot my right arm straight up now on this one he doesn't have any resistance which i can go for the rear grip finish as i walk towards him i squeeze on this next one he's resisting with his arms i use my outside leg to remove his arms and then I make the connection and I make the finish. On this next one, he sits up, okay? And I'm just gonna review the same thing again so that you get a better view of everything we did, a little faster pace. Notice that my hands are always making connections. If his head is not, he's not cooperating, you can release one hand and push his head in and then make your connection. Good. So now on this next one here that we're going to go over from the top position, how I gain access to his neck from the top. Now, there's many ways to do this. I'm just showing you one way to do it. I'm going to secure over. I'm going to pull him down to the knees. I'm going to extend my left leg forward. I'm just going to slide right over. And finish him from the top. This is the first guillotine series I, I teach. It's very effective, very simple. Get a nice little tap there. But on this next one, I can't roll him over. And you'll see what I do next. So I pull him back down to my knees. He's basing out. I'm going to slide. I'm going to move myself perpendicular to the sides. Notice my head goes inside. I have pressure on his far neck. And from there, I'm going to roll him over. And now I go right into the finishes, right from there. Same move that we were just practicing. If he were to remove his arms, I could still finish him. Little variation there. So you can play with all these moves and come up with your own attacks. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.